everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have an amazing Valentine's Day design by Steve Good. And speaking of Valentine's Day, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there in computer land watching. I hope you're taking a small moment out of your day to day during all the love festivities to watch this scroll saw woodworking video. It is going to be really cool. As I said, it's designed by Steve Good, and I've already got the pattern printed out to full size and attached to our material. We're going to be making just one in this video. I usually stack cut, but we're going to make one out of quarter inch plywood. As you see, there's all the patterns attached. I've got a thicker piece back here on the workbench for the base. I just like to have a little bit more support on the base when it comes to a project that has a base and will stand on its own. But the pattern is some love gnomes. Some garden gnomes that are in love. You see the pattern for the man there, the woman there, and they're kind of, the guy kind of has his hand on the woman's back showing his support. And then we have a heart here. We're going to paint red for Valentine's Day. As I said, the pattern is printed out to full size and attached with clear packing tape. Now there is some very, very small details in this project, like the nose, the braids of the woman's hair, the little booties they wear on their feet here. But there is some very delicate details here, and I'm going to show you some of the ways you can cut out smaller pieces over on the scroll saw and maybe give you better confidence to cut out a project that has smaller pieces. So let's move the camera over to the scroll saw so I can give you a brief explanation of how you can cut out smaller pieces on the scroll saw without losing them, and then we'll get started. All right, over here at the scroll saw, I hope you guys can see everything clearly. I've got the pattern here, but what I want to show you guys is when cutting out small parts, there is a likelihood that the small piece will fall down into the hole right here that the blade goes through in the center of the table. I know if you have an older scroll saw, I took this off my 16 inch scroll saw, some of them had this plate that you would put in and that made just an even bigger hole and a more chance and more of a likelihood for a piece to fall down through it and get lost in the jumble of sawdust in a workshop. What Steve Good suggests is to put blue painter's tape. I don't have none out here in the workshop. I'm going to demonstrate with masking tape and put it on your table. It will not leave no residue. Just make sure your table is clean before attaching it. And I'm just going to put one here and here. And now, when you cut out a small piece, it has nowhere to go but pop back up out of the um, waste wood. But what I'm just going to show you here is just an easy piece. And what we're going to do is just cut out the garden gnome's nose right here. I'll show you how that's done. go. The piece was not lost. There you see it and I can set it aside for sanding and assembly later on in the video. Now I'm quite confident with catching the pieces so what I'm going to do is remove the tape. If you are unsure about if you are confident enough to get the pieces up on your own just add the tape and you will be fine. What I'm going to do now is put on my ear protection and my dust mask and we'll proceed and finish all the cutting. And we're going to begin just by cutting all of the pieces out. As you can see I'm setting them aside as I get them cut. I am using number two reverse tooth blades on this project. They are cutting really good with minimal chip out for the single layer of quarter inch plywood. As I said, this is a Steve Good design and if you would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. I am just taking my time here and letting the blade do the work, being careful to catch the pieces. I showed 
the method of taping the hole where the blade goes through for those who might not be familiar with it. Again, I'm confident with catching the pieces. I've been scrolling since I was 14 years old. Garden gnomes are kind of universal and everybody loves them so this would be a great project to make for a loved one. And since there is a tab design on this you see me checking with a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood to make sure my slots for the gnomes in the heart are good. Finishing up on the scroll work here. And then we will head over to sanding with the palm sander on the bigger pieces just giving it a light sanding and then I will sand all of the smaller pieces with 220 grit Klingspore sandpaper over at the workbench. If you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Once all the pieces are sanded, I will take the heart backdrop and give it a nice coat of red spray paint. And while that is drying, we will come over and glue up the garden gnomes with CA glue. And I actually took a picture of the finished project on my phone so I could have that to reference for the assembly process. So you'll see me there going back to my phone and seeing where all the pieces go. No need to use the CA glue accelerator here. There's the female gnome and now we're gluing up the man gnome. Again checking my picture on the phone for reference. And once the heart was dry, it was time to do the final assembly again with CA glue. And I'll glue the man and the woman on it. And then I'll glue their little feet on. And I'll give it about five minutes to set up completely after I have everything glued in place. And then to finish it off, we will give it several coats of clear gloss, clear coat, and once that dries, the project is complete. And here we have the completed Valentine's Day Love Gnomes for 2022. Really, really cool, really amazing project by Steve Good. Thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing design from your catalog, but really, really cool. I had fun making this. I hope you did too. And I thank you for tuning in on Valentine's Day 2022 to spend a little bit of time with me on my channel. I really appreciate that. But all in all, it took around 25 minutes to do all the scroll work on this. It doesn't take long at all if you're used to cutting small pieces. I hope this video encourages someone who might not have tried cutting small pieces now to go out and try it on their scroll saw. If you need to use the tape method that I showed you earlier, go ahead and do it until you're comfortable catching the pieces to where they won't fall through the little hole where the blade's at. But really, really cool. I had fun making this and we had time to let it dry and I just done other stuff out here in the workshop while the heart was drying then the clear coat was drying but really really cool I had fun making it I hope you guys like watching me make it I had a blast making it love is not something that is just a singular day of Valentine's Day it is something you do year round whether that be with your significant other your family your friends love them all cherish the memories made I hope you all have a happy and safe Valentine's Day 2022 if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate happy Valentine's Day 2022 everyone take care and I'll see you guys real soon